back to this new video lecture. Today we'll see how to draw a hyperbola through a rectangular method. The question is a point P is 40 mm and 30 mm from horizontal and vertical axis respectively draw hyperbola through it. So this is the uh, simple way the problem could be framed. Here it is uh, straightforwardly mentioned that you have to draw an hyperbola. A question could be a framed in direct fashion where the path could be asked to trace by a point and you have to label the curve. But here it is directly mentioned that you have to draw an hyperbola. We are given here with the coordinates of point P. So let us draw the coordinates of point P. We have the axis with the help of roller scale we can draw line perpendicular to one another and here point P is to be located at a distance of 40 mm from horizontal and vertical axis so 40 mm so we can mark 40 mm point and 30 mm from the vertical axis right so from the vertical axis you are, we are given the distance of say 30 mm with the help of roller scale as we have point over here we draw a line parallel the vertical axis and similar similarly we have plot a point at a distance of 40 mm so with the help of roller scale We'll draw a line parallel to the horizontal. So the intersection of this will give me the position of P. So with the help of dimensioning, we can give the dimensions. So these are called as extension lines. From the original figure you can leave a gap of say 1 or 2 mm draw construction line medium dark shade and with the help of arrow heads we can draw the dimensioning of the line so this distance is 30 mm this is given in the problem and this distance is 40 mm now let us look for the method what does this method suggest right so here so we have labeled the points and now this distance pc distance we can divide it into any number of points say three or four divisions at any distance so i am taking a comfortable distance the divisions could be comfortable so I've divided here into four points at comfortable distance and side AP I will divide this into three points I label them as C1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 and now I draw a line such a way that it passes through point 1 and it is extended to this line PB similarly from point O to point 2 and it is extended to line BP from O3 so I get a new point over here so I label this as C1 dash this is 2 dash and this is 3 dash and now we do the same methodology over this side from O to 4 till this vertical line so 
So if you talk about division, it is up to you how many points you want to divide. Or you can limit to this to 2.7. That is okay. So now we have divisions on this size 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And extended will give me the points. So this is 4 dash and 5 dash. So as per this method, rectangular method, what we need to do is we draw line horizontal from 1 till 1 dash. We have a horizontal line over here from here till 2 dash from here till 3 dash and then with the help of vertical lines we intersect the vertical line on this line similarly from point 2 dash to the line which is coming from 2 from 3 dash to the line which is coming from 3 so this is p1 position this is p2 position this is p3 position right similarly we'll draw vertical line from 4 and from 5 these are construction line they need to be kept light enough similarly an horizontal line from 4 dash from 5 dash to the line which is coming from 5 so I'll have point P4 and point P5 so what is happening here this point P has a constant relationship with the vertical as well as with the horizontal axis and it is changing its position with the relationship and with this relationship it is tracing a path right so we have this position p1 p2 p3 p4 and p5 when you connect all this point you get a curve and it is hyperbolic in nature so with the help of french curve we can connect the points or with the help of free hand also we can draw the curve right so this is how you get the curve so this is how you get the curve curve aapka sateek rehna chahiye and this method is rectangular hyperbola so thank you everyone for this video